Another wet day at Torquay Golf Club. Looks like we're in the studio. Right guys, Dan Hendrickson here at Torquay Golf Club. I was just doing a quick lesson today with Lee. Hiya, alright? Yeah, very good. Back Lee. again. Now Lee's been on a journey with me this winter and been trying to help out his game. We've seen some great results from Lee these last like, couple of months. We started at 17, down to 12 now. However, the next step for Lee is that we've tried to reduce his spin rates. He's been getting some very, very high spin numbers with his irons. He's had a little shift in his equipment. He's gone into some clubs that are just giving him a little bit lower numbers, a little bit heavier in the shaft, things like that that he's just had a little play with himself now though we need to reduce the loft that he's getting so I'm just going to go through this video with you with Lee to show how we can take a little bit of loft off and that hopefully will help his game right some really good numbers of what Lee is getting you can see his path here is pretty consistently around zero and that's what we've been working on his face to path has always been pretty good because he's pretty neutral in his ball flight when he gets out on the golf course. His angle of attack ranges from around two and a half to maybe four degrees down on the ball. But his delivery of loft here is at 35.7. And on an average, he's around sort of 34. Now with a seven iron, that's a little bit too much loft. As you can see then, the backspin then revs up to sort of 8,300 revs, which is absolutely what he's been getting. So we need to see if we can reduce the loft a little bit, which will hopefully bring his spin loft down and then start to get his ball flight out there with a little bit more distance on it. Right, mate, I've got a drill for you. Love you do like your drills. So Love I've a good drill. another one for you here. Does this one hurt like the rest of them? This one does hurt a little bit. Right, so what we're seeing from Lee with his golf swing is that as he comes into impact, you'll see that he gets that club head just to feel like it's taking over his hands a little bit too much with an iron. This can work really quite well when you're hitting driver, but when we're trying to get a little bit less loft coming into the shot, we need to try and keep that handle a little bit further forward. So there's probably a lot of you at home that are very, very much in the same boat as what Lee's in. So what you need is a tour stick, and then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick the tour stick in the end of the club. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get Lee to set up with this stick kind of sticking on the outside of his left side here. And then from here, I'm gonna ask him to make some swings. And what he's gotta try and do is stop the club from hitting him, so it'd stop the tour stick from hitting his, his left side as he comes through. What we're going to focus on is this part of the club, making sure that sits on the left side of your body there, mm -hmm. okay? And then as you swing through, you're going to try and feel like this part of it stays connected at the top here between your arm and maybe the left side of your um, left side there. Yeah. And then as you come through, you're going to feel like you can really turn left out of the way and hold that position so you're going to really feel like you're here and then rise up as you come through the shot. So just small shots to get us going with, nothing too, too full on and then just keep turning out of the way of the shot, that looks really good. Right, so a good start from Lee, his path has just moved a little bit more into out than what he was getting before but his face is pretty neutral again from that position, his angle of attack has moved to like six degrees t uh, down his strike maybe just moved a little bit into the heel as he hit that shot, but look at what he's done with his loft. Now bearing in mind this is a smaller shot that he's hit here, but he's now got it down to 22 degrees of loft, so he's really moved that loft off the club. Now what we've got to do is move it into a position where he's hitting fuller shots into this. Right, more full, full approach shot now, so just give it a little bit more speed if you can. Keep turning through the shot, Lee. So what we would do now is we'd ask Lee or yourselves to try and hit a few of these types of shots with a smaller swing and then you start to build it up into a bigger swing and then you try and work it back into your own golf club from there without the stick stuck in the end of it. Right, back in normal club now, so he's got his own golf club back in his hand without the stick in the end of it. Let's see what numbers he gets from this shot. Okay, two shots that Lee's just hit. First two shots back from him using the stick now into his normal club. And we can see that his path is again very, very neutral in what he's doing. So he's always around zero. His face is pretty good from this position, but angle of attack 3.8 down. So again, really, really positive. But look at the loft, 28.6 degrees of loft. Remember he was around 34, 35 degrees of loft before doing this drill. Strike, then need a little bit of work on, which is why he then wanted to hit another shot for us. 
and then we can start to see strikers improved. Again, he's taken lots of loft. He's around 26 degrees of loft now, which is probably just a fraction too little of what I'm looking for around 27, 28 with his 7 iron. But look at spin. He's dropped his spin right down. If we come onto here, he's gone from he's gone 5, 5 9 and 6,000 revs. Now, again, just a smidgen too low, but I think his strike is probably hurting that a little bit from, from what we got there. But just with a little drill of sticking that tall stick in the end of that club, just to feel like it stays away from your body and keeping that handle pressed slightly forward is just gonna help you take loft off the shot. Let me know, put your comments down below. Is this a drill that you've done yourselves? It might just help you with your game. I wanna hear what you have to say. Obviously, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We'll send you through all the notifications. If you like what you're seeing, give us a thumbs up and we look forward to catching up with you again soon.